Good evening traders, it's Mark here from the Day Trading Room. The time is 20 to 10 uh, London time on Tuesday the 26th of October. Two pretty good days on the market, uh, some reasonable good action. Uh, let's run through Monday's trades first. Monday took three trades, two great trades off the open on the opening drive and one awful trade uh, over the New York lunchtime. So we'll run through that in a bit and see what lessons we can learn from that one. But let's run, let's first of all, let's... Uh, discuss what we got up to at the open. Yeah, two ideas at the open. Uh, ignore the lying colours here because they're on for Tuesday, but um, you can see this is the open and that was the close. So we had a good gap up there and that was uh, the prior day's high, which was Friday's high. So a couple of ideas as usual, either to come down, fill the range and then ultimately the gap and there's some good support uh, there at 11.99 or for us to push up we've got 11,200 cash there I've got that marked on uh, that's a reasonable level psychologically and then the uh, the high from Thursday I think it was was I've marked on here 11,164 so a couple of couple of good ideas really either we're gonna have a push up off the open or a push down and the reason I like taking that and having some some targets in place from that opening is that Normally, on a, on a general day, when I've got some reasonable volume and it's a normal day and it's not a holiday, you're going to get an opening drive of at least 30 to 50 points on average. Um, you know, that really is a generalization. Some days you won't get it. But generally, the amount of orders that are coming in on the open, I'm looking uh, on the on the YM anyway for that sort of move, at least 30. Uh, and it seems to be becoming more higher than 30 at the moment. Um, but I'm looking for at least at least 30. 30 point move off the open so anything that falls into that sort of area 30 to 50 points any decent target are going to be my targets for the trade and all I'm looking for on the trigger is I don't really know which way it's going to go at the open some days can open strong and they can pull back you know really heavily um, shaking out a lot of people so you never really know which way it's going to go at the open so that's when you take winning comes in you're looking just before the open just to see if there are any buyers or sellers stepping up pre-market, making their presence known, and then at the open, more importantly, you're you're marking the open on your chart with a line or a cross or whatever you whatever you want to do, and then you're just basically bracketing the uh, framing the, the the market action relative to the open. Um, if it dips below the open slightly, and then pushes straight up, and the bids are held and bids are firm, then you know you're on for the long. You can take your long, and then you're looking to hold this target. Uh, and vice versa, you know, if he pushes up slightly and immediately gets hit back down, offers are being held and bids are being hit, then you know that's your that's your uh, your cue to short. So, in this instance, uh, bids were stepping up, and at um, three minutes after the open, uh, I took my long. So it was on this candle here, um, probably just as this candle just started to form, and yeah great little trade literally just watching bids holding bids holding people stepping up but the, the real thing for me was the fact that these ticks were just so high were well in the 600 five to six hundreds and even by the third or fourth minute they were pushing the 800s 900s uh, which is which is a great sign really that there's a lot of uh, a lot of people hitting the offers on those stocks so more than happy to take along on that um, with a stop just below the, the the early low which was which was not a lot really so really really limited risk um, that popped up to the 10 200 level took our first scale and popped up and hit our target of the 11 164 came out just before that because this tick had just started to top around here um, so the candle before so just a couple of ticks shy of my target but um, you know generally that was a good trade it got most of that opening drive it was worth a good 30 ticks probably about a 22 tick on average on that um, Again, pretty much tape reading with targets in place, um, you know, so so good opening trade. Then we had this pullback, slight little pullback, and <clears throat> as you know, if you're watching the videos, this is the sort of thing that I like to to see the second push up. You know, if you missed the first, we did in this, we didn't in this case, but if you missed the first, you're looking for that little pullback um, to a level. And if you notice that 10 200, I've drawn it on the futures. This is obviously the futures market. That's the cash equivalent there of um, excuse me 11200 cash, and we pulled back slowly. It took how many is that one two three four five six six or six candles or so, uh, six minutes to pull back to the 11200 level. The ticks are pulled back just just couldn't quite make the zero. If you notice down here, volume dwindling, um, 
it, it's setting up perfectly you're now looking for an explosion for it to push back up and to give us another another good good high tick reading uh, in particular to take out that level um, you, what you're going to want to do is you're looking for to get on that skim a bit off as you approach that and then close into the stops as it pushed up here so I was uh, straight back in on the long side um, just after the, the, the quarter to the hour um, got a but a pretty good entry here just above this uh, just we broke this trend line about here stop was going to be here again I'm always looking to manage my risk I'm looking to keep that risk low and I'm looking to have a decent uh, target um, target really was a little bit dubious in this case because um, I just wanted to, to take some off of this high which was about um, 15 20 20 ticks um, no, about 15 ticks and then I wanted to run some and just and then just manage it and see if we got another flush on the ticks. But I was aware on the tick index. I was aware that uh, at three o'clock we had some uh, we had some data. So uh, you know, just playing it for that. So again, great great trade that was. It pushed up nicely. Um, we got our final final uh, target, a final trade away. And just looking at my notes now in front of me. Um, yeah, I can see actually that I closed my last couple of scales at this level here because there was a tape seller. We only had three minutes to go anyway. Um, my last exit was yeah just before that three minutes, uh, three minute uh, excuse me three o'clock uh, data. But I can see on the chart here now. You see where it's just cracking its head on here. Must have been a tape seller there, and I've, in my notes it's telling me there was. So I used that as a cue to get rid of my last scale. But nevertheless great trade there we've got this first push here um, from there to there uh, majority of that <clears throat> and then we, we we got a better entry to re rebuy on that pullback but that's a classic pattern you know I've, I've mentioned it before and it's something I just use time and time again it's a bit of a bread and butter pattern for me um, pulling up pushing through a good level and then just pulling back you've got you can draw your trend line there and and you're just waiting if you can't see it on the tape um, which you sh which you should be able to do. You should be able to see the bidder stepping up. The tape will ch change speed very slightly, and it will just seem uh, a little bit different in the way it acts. But you're looking for that that little trend line to break. And even if you're just taking it on the chart, you can take that. You you know you've got the strength behind you. You know the ticks are strong. They're pulling back. They haven't even gone below zero. So everything's on your side. Wait for that little break, and they just stop. You know it's a very very low risk trade. And then. I mean, if there wasn't any data, you can, if, you, if you're a person who likes to trail, you know, you could take a bit off and have a free trail. And this, you could be on the end of a trend day, you could be on the end of a 100, 150 point move day. Um, so that's a setup to, to include if, you, if you're not already uh, using it, but it's one that, uh, that I like to do. So yeah, two great trades, um, nicely up on the morning. And then left left a lot of this. This was I didn't really know what was going to happen here. If I'm perfectly honest with you, I didn't have an idea. We were in sort of fresh highs. It was a it was a bit of a bull flag pattern. Um, you know, we pushed up, started to form a little bull flag. Expectation is perhaps to push up there, but you know the way the market is at the moment, it says to do the. It, as I mentioned in the video before, I think on and over the weekend. You know, we're taking out highs and then we're drifting back and and reversing. So at the moment, that seems to be the pattern. So, um, I, you just, I mean, I just didn't know, so I just stayed clear of it. Just stay clear, stay clear of all this. Nothing really interested me here. Uh, there was a double bottom here to take, but again, I, I wasn't sure because it was so close to this range fill and this this gap. I just wasn't sure that that really was going to be a double bottom and weren't just going to push through. Um, I would have bought the gap fill. Uh, without a doubt but we never got there but anyway quickly now running out of time we're on to the stupid trade of the day uh, this was ridiculous it pushed lower through the low there was the low it pushed through the low at lunchtime volume was low we got this spike in volume which is probably retail players um, with their stops below the low uh, we pulled back to that low and we had this low tick reading and I thought yeah great nice place to go short so I went short there and I'm looking for a quick scalp um, as we push through the range and then we've got some support here and we've got the gap here so I've got three good targets I just thought they would act like a magnet and as the ticks pull back they'll have one more flush but I should have known better you know it's about the midday time in New York the volume was dreadfully low apart from this retail spike here um, ticks had flushed 
normally I'd be on the other end of this I'd be waiting for the flush at lunchtime to fade like to fade the retail but in this case I don't know what I was thinking you know I'm you know every t every now and then you just take a bit of a trade that does make afterwards you look at it and go that made no sense whatsoever so yeah I took the short there it, it pushed down nothing happened and I just I just stuck with it thinking that we were going to push and fill this range I thought it was so close it's bound to bound to give me a little a first scale at least but I didn't get it and it just drifted and drifted and drifted and drifted and a third time round I'm been sitting sitting with the trade thinking okay well you know if this isn't this isn't going to go it isn't going to go didn't go pushed back up and I ended up taking uh, 11 tick stop on that so I gave back 11 of my uh, 35 or so tick profit from the morning which disappointing don't do it very often um, especially on silly trades I don't mind losing on trades that have good setups but that that pattern would have worked if it had been uh, over here you know in the morning a different type of setup but the fact that it was around the midday point big alarm bells ringing volume so low that was a bit of a red herring low ticks the, the classic midday flush if you look at the videos back from a couple of months ago um, that I've done that's one of my patterns I like to fade um, I prefer it when it's in a trend so you've got a trend down day get the flush at midday then you get the counter trend move but still you know that's they seem to flush out the retail players uh, about about midday so that was disappointing but um, can't be helped right very quickly we've only got a few minutes left let's get on to today's action um, today three trades again pretty much short off the open and that was uh, purely because of the tape I bring in the overnight this is my overnight chart here you can see uh, 230 is the open is, is here and uh, yeah we'd push down push down push down we'd push up slightly just for the open and we'd open really near the lows and really I've been watching a tape seller um, uh, pre-market for quite a while and he was he was pushing lower he was pushing lower so I literally just just followed him and it doesn't look like much but it ended up being an okay trade um, have a look at my notes again yeah it wasn't too bad I took uh, 18 ticks out of that scaled at 12 and then 18 and then my last one it came back came back against me and just took four ticks on that so that was a nice little short literally based on the tape again ticks are giving you the clue watch those ticks they really are they really are useful at the moment they're continuing to be low especially when the minus 600s there's a little bit more selling left that may not go as far as you want but there's a little bit more selling left um, especially when it is at the low of the overnight move you know that was the overnight uh, low there the dotted yellow right on that uh, resistance support so a little bit of a flush is not expected and we didn't get a runner but you know happy to take the money off that so second trade of the day was this push uh, lower and just managed to get the long there because it couldn't quite push through the open level then it started to take a run up at it ticks went higher volume pushed and that was a quick scalp lost my bottle on that a bit and only took a little scalp on that one but the final trade of the day which um, was ending the day on a good note was uh, along just after the data uh, about 10 past uh, 3 where's that yeah that was it long after the data um, nine minutes past there was good good level there we pushed through uh, we started to push back tape player was still sitting there ticks have pulled back and then I'm long and what I'm looking for you probably all know this by now but I'm looking for that range fill there's yesterday's low there's my range fill and uh, you can see the tape seller there so I'm all out there so that was a great little trade um, that was it no more for the day very quiet the rest of the day didn't get involved in it left it alone and um, I'm looking forward to to Wednesday three more days of the uh, three more days to go to the end of the month so um, just looking to keep that discipline uh, rock solid and looking for the very very best trades we can um, thanks for your comments gents um, as usual you can email me mark at the day trading room at the UK go and look at the blog daytrading.com uh, and feel free to make any more comments uh, see the video shortly